What happened in your office, Minister? Good morning. The public safety minister dogged by questions while his office is in crisis control. With all of the issues uh, that have been caused under his watch, will he do the honorable thing and resign right here, right now? Uh, I'm focused on one thing and one thing only, and that is doing my job. At a committee into foreign interference, Marco Mendicino couldn't escape MPs or journalists asking about Paul Bernardo. Just, just, just before uh, you all start clamoring uh, for uh, answers to questions, um, let me say a few things. Speaking to reporters after dodging them Wednesday, following a bombshell that Mendicino's office said it kept him in the dark for three months about the pending prison transfer. I have taken the corrective steps uh, to ensure that that does not happen again. After that brief statement, Mendicino tried to brush off reporters for a second day. Uh, th this is, uh, I think, a very good and thorough summation of, of, of the actions that we've taken today. And I'll be happy to take it, more questions. Why didn't your staff tell you what's the explanation? Why didn't your staff tell you? Why didn't is it a standard operating procedure at your office that you are kept in the dark? And will you let anyone go in response to the handling of this? Of course not. And you know, my job as the Minister of Public Safety is to make sure that we are identifying issues where there uh, are challenges on information flow. Cornered and still unable to explain how it all went so wrong. There's no doubt there is incompetence in his office to not be advised about this. There should be consequences. In the House, his same lines repeated. The directions that I have put into motion will ensure that I'm directly briefed. Canadians have lost confidence in this minister, so will he do the honourable thing and just resign? The attention now turning to the Prime Minister and his next move. Do you still have confidence in Minister Mendicino, sir? Do you have confidence Good to here? see you. Ashley, what happens now? Well, Ian, as you heard, no answer from the prime minister there, but Mendicino is still in cabinet, and that speaks to the level of support he has from Justin Trudeau. But there's pretty clear indications that there could be a cabinet shuffle this summer to reset the government, and the sense is that Marco Mendicino could likely be switching jobs. All right, Ashley, thank you.